and the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. Hi guys, the door of hell is in the bottom of you. The door of hell is in the bottom of everyone who doesn't follow Jesus and obey his commandments. And the hell is in the bottom of you, my friend. If you reject to obey Jesus, you will say to me, my friend, I don't see it. Many brothers testified that when they were dying, they saw a big black hole like a storm was dragging them into the bottom inside hell. So it exists even if you don't see it. But if you repent and obey Jesus and follow him, he is only able to close the door of hell which is in the bottom of you for sure if you are faithful till the end. We mustn't neglect so great salvation the Lord Jesus offered us to his death and shedding his precious blood for our sins. In Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by them that heard him? My friend, the time presses. And you don't know which moment you can die on this earth. My father died, he was only 47 years old. And my cousin, she was only 25 years old. Are you sure if you will live till tomorrow? Today is the time. In Hebrews chapter 3 verse 15. While it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation. Come to Jesus and ask forgiveness. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I know that I don't deserve this salvation, but you died for me on the cross. Please forgive me and save me from sin, because wage of sin is dead in hell. And I promise you that I will live for you by your help. Help me, Lord, so I can follow you and glorify your name till the end of my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus bless you. He which testifies these things said, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.